And about a million men and almost 5 million women over the age of 50 have osteoporosis. That's a gradual weakening of the bone that can ultimately increase the risk of fractures. In our HealthCast today, Local 10 Medical Specialist Dr. Ari Sofer looks at a less invasive approach to repairing those injuries and getting patients back on their feet. Toby Levy has lived with osteoporosis for over 20 years. The condition so weakened her bones, over time she suffered a sudden fracture in her lower back. They wanted me to go for surgery, and at my stage of the game, I didn't want to go for surgery. Elderly patients like Toby are at higher risk for compression fracture, where the bone can no longer support the weight of their body, or an injury from a minor fall becomes a major problem. This can be extremely, extremely um, uh, detrimental for their uh, functionality, if you will. So the quicker you can fix something with the less invasive techniques uh, allows them to resume their normal lives. And that's irritating the nerve. Anesthesia and blood loss from major surgery can be extremely risky for older patients, which is why Dr. Marshall Stauber came up with what he calls cement augmentation. Cement augmentation essentially is strengthening bone with a bone cement that we have used for the last probably 50 years in different orthopedic procedures. After identifying the fracture with imaging, Dr. Stauber inserts a thin curved needle into the area and releases the cement. Only topical numbing and local anesthesia are necessary. Generally speaking, the patients come in 7 o'clock to the office. By 10 o'clock, they're going home. And Cement augmentation made a world of difference for Toby. Oh, my God. I mean, you can't believe. It's really, uh, I mean, now I'm walking and I have no pain. Studies show that if you don't treat a fracture, there's almost a 100% chance of an additional fracture occurring within one year. In the elderly population, this isn't just life-altering, it can be life-threatening, which is why alternatives to surgery can be so beneficial. With your second opinion, I'm Dr. Ari Sofer. And one more note, following treatment, patients are given medications to help stimulate the production of brand new bone and decrease the amount of bone destruction. Victor?